is good, everybody? Welcome to an epic My Damn Toys video today. Well, actually, I, I wouldn't call it epic. I would just call it a, a, a an informational WWE action figure video today, guys. We do have some news coming out of the WWE action figure community here today. This was posted yesterday by Ringside Collectibles, where you can pre-order and use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Here today, guys, it does say, it posted up this this post right here that says Elite Series 76. This, this is obviously involving Christian Braun Strowman. Roman Heavy Machinery, Otis and Tucker, Lacey Evans and John Cena set to release. I think they were supposed to be delivered already, but uh, here is what they said. They say, the following items have been delayed by Mattel due to the coronavirus issue in China. If you pre-ordered any of these items, we greatly appreciate your patience. These delays are beyond our control. And they go on to say underneath this, it says WWE Elite Series 76 now scheduled for mid-May. WWE Series 107 now scheduled for late April. Undertaker as Kane exclusive back order now scheduled for late May and Battle Pack 64 back order now scheduled for early May. Now, this is very interesting information. Obviously, we all know what the coronavirus is. If you haven't, you know, known about the coronavirus or you haven't heard about the coronavirus, well, then I guess you've been kind of living under a rock because literally it seems like every just media platform has been pushing the hell out of this disease and this virus and just sort of, you know, uh, I feel like they've kind of just been fear-mongering a little bit. Like, I, th I feel like they need to be more informational instead of so, you know, like, uh, I don't know. It just feels like they're really pushing, like, fear on people, but it does look like these figures are going to be delayed due to the virus. You know that that's where it originated. It did originate in China, and so this has had an effect on our WWE action figures. So I guess because the figures are made in China, therefore we are, uh, I guess they're doing this to be safe. Obviously, you don't want to get a bad shipment of figures. You know, you don't want anybody sick, and you don't want to bring that, you know, any closer to, you know, how awful would it be for them to get a big shipment of Elite Series 76 or any of these other figures, them being you know them have a bit of the virus or the bacteria or whatever it is that causes this disease or virus inside the packaging or inside the box you open up the dead gum box and then you just get destroyed with it and you get sick and then it spreads all throughout your house I mean that is that is that's a pretty scary thought just to even think about so I know the virus is already in the United States and I think it's kind of just crazy I think it's pretty crazy that, uh, that you know, this has actually had an effect on the WWE action figure community like it has here. But Elite Series 76, we know they look great. I think that's a great set right there. I can't wait to get the John Cena mainly. I think the Braun Strowman looks really good. Lacey Evans looks pretty good. I feel like our head scan may be a little bit off. Christian's a cool flashback. And then Heavy Machinery, we can add to our main rosters there for predictions videos. Um, I don't know why. I feel like they're going to be in the Mania match for the SmackDown Tag Titles. That's just what you're hearing from me right here. Now, if you're wondering what... What basic series it is that is being delayed, guys. It is the set that features EC3, Braun Strowman, Shinsuke Nakamura with the chase version that is blue. Then you have The Rock, and then you have Bianca Belair. So it is going to be a little bit before we get our Bianca Belair figure. And it looks like we're not even going to have our Bianca Belair for WrestleMania because she is going to have a match with Charlotte, I'm pretty sure, at WrestleMania. And I think that her, Charlotte, and Rhea will all be involved in that matchup for the NXT Championship. So that sucks that we probably will not have our Bianca Belair figure for our WrestleMania many predictions or WrestleMania review that's pretty unfortunate I was really looking forward to that basic figure but you know we do have to protect ourselves and stuff like that as far as battle pack series 64 I'm gonna have to scroll down here and figure out what exactly series that is because battle pack series 55 is the one that has Mustafa Ali and Kevin Owens it's got the Hardy Boys it has all those guys so battle pack 64 what series is that Brad okay so battle pack 64 is the series that has AJ Styles and Daniel Bryan it has the white attire you know with the Smackdown tag tie Titles Usos, which look very fire. I wish those were elites, damn it. Those look so damn fresh. I'd probably fart in a bag to get those. And then we have Lita and Trish Stratus with the Evolution Chair. So that is the set that is delayed from ringside. And then what was what else was oh yeah, the Undertaker as Kane exclusive. You guys know the ringside exclusive Kane slash Undertaker. It's like the two-in-one figure that we reviewed a long time ago on the channel. It wasn't a long, long time ago, but that is on back order. Scheduled for late May, and then that is pretty much it. So we have an elite set, we have the basic set, a battle pack set, and then Undertaker as Kane. So I really don't understand how these items are delayed. I guess because they were around the time that the that the disease contracted or the virus contracted. So 
I really don't know how we're supposed to get any more new figures. I don't know how that's supposed to work. Like, what about, you know, Elite Series 77 and 78 or any of that? And then what about the other basics and battle packs that we're supposed to get later on? Is this supposed to delay all of them, I guess, is what I'm guessing? And I guess we weren't supposed to get Elite Series 77 or any of that stuff until, you know, around this time, you know, late May or uh, early June or... So I guess that's what they're they're going with. So it's going to be a while before we get some new figures, man. I mean, that's, that's a pretty long way like elite series 76 mid-may we're only at the beginning of march really so we have two pretty much whole months until we get a new elite set which is pretty freaking crazy man and then uh that we still it's not like the aew figures are coming anytime soon we still have to wait a little bit for those i think those are supposed to be out late july early august so um it's going to be a minute before we get some brand new action figures in here unless we do some ordering or customs and stuff like that so i guess that's what we're going to have to rely on because elite series 76 basic series 107 undertaker as kane and battle pack 64 all delayed due to the coronavirus over in china where the mattel wwe action figures are made uh obviously ringside cannot control this and so um you know i don't i don't really know what to say man it looks like we're gonna have to wait but ringside does have a lot of stuff that's already in stock so if you it's not like ringside shut down you can easily go over there and buy all the other th all the other stuff it's just any brand new stuff such as these things that have not been uh created just yet um those are being delayed so that is very unfortunate but i know it'll be worth it once we all get them uh and actually now that i think about it not only will we not have our bianca belair if this is you know completely true like we don't know i guess they're sort of projecting the date in which we'll get the figures in um since we're not getting Bianca Belair in time, it looks like we probably won't get Otis and Tucker in time either. So we pr may not have them for our WrestleMania setups, our WrestleMania predictions, our WrestleMania review, which is pretty unfortunate as well. And I really want that Braun Strowman. And I don't think they've even put up the Top Talents Elites just yet for pre-order. They've just shown off prototypes and stuff like that. Then you have the two-pack of China and Triple H. So there's other figures that we saw, you know, at uh, New York Toy Fair and stuff like that. The Decades of Dominance, stuff like that. I think every single Mattel figure is made in China, so I don't know if Walmart is going to be delaying those figures that are supposed to be exclusives, so I'm not even sure about that, guys. I really, you know what I'm saying? So if, if Walmart exclusives are supposed to come out, you know, Ringside doesn't usually get Walmart exclusives and stuff like that. Sometimes they do, and I feel like more than likely they do, but like decades of dominance, they probably won't get till later. So... Is Walmart going to delay those shipments, or is Mattel going to hold all shipments to new stores? So, or like, is every store not going to get new shipments because of the coronavirus? I don't know. I guess we'll just have to see about that. I don't know if the Mattel distribution is going to be affected any more than it already is. I feel like we already can't really find stuff, so we may have to wait a while until even retail gets stuff. And I was going to do that toy hunt video possibly tomorrow. You know, where we we go to each you know store and try to find a figure. I wanted to you know do the longest toy hunt ever here in town but we may not be able to do that because of this issue because we're not going to be able to get new stuff i mean if stuff's already there then it's already there but if it's not uh you know shipped or whatever then i guess they're never going to get new stuff so i guess you just got to be careful you know definitely wash your hands take all the precautions uh wash your freaking hands man use the dish soap there use the soap wash your hands with nice hot water get yourself sanitized there i would avoid shaking hands with anybody just anybody you know i would i would definitely do a fist bump or something like that just you know spread extra cautionary uh keep uh, keep your house clean there and uh yeah now i do have an update as far as hell's gate goes guys i am shooting for next saturday so a week from today is when i am hoping to have it up i literally have a little bit more filming to do and then after that brad i'm going to edit for five straight days probably and then it's going to be up on next saturday hopefully by next saturday night that's what i'm shooting for it's going to premiere i'm probably just going to premiere and let it go live to you guys and let you watch it live as it's happening and then uh, it'll be up for anybody else so if you don't catch the live premiere for it you can easily just go to the thing and click on it and i think it gives you the option of either watching it live sort of like the wwe network you know you click the pay-per-view while it's going on you have the choice to start from the beginning or you can skip to you know where it is currently live so i would definitely watch it from the beginning i i would not sit there and like skim through the show i, I want you to sit down and watch the show from the start all the way to the finish because that will give you the best experience for it you know if you can't make it if you have if you're busy or if you you know run into something just pause it where you're at 
keep a time mark of where you are in the show, and then come back and finish it later on because I want you to experience the whole show. Very important that you watch everything that goes down, and I want you to pay attention to everything that, that happens from the very start of the show to the very end. It's definitely going to be worth it, and it's going to it's gonna be a damn pay-per-view event, Brad. It's going to be a long-ass show, and I want you to get ready for it. So the reason that the show's taking so long is because it is, it is a long-ass show. It is very long, and I want you guys to take it all in. And I want you to embrace every moment of the show from the very start to the very finish. And I would love for you guys to check it out live and tune in live to it. And if you want to do that, you can. But if you do miss the live version, don't worry about it. It will be up already. And I'll probably upload a classic version of it, like Pick Fed version, where I just put music behind the show. And if you guys want to tune into that, you can rewatch it without the, you know, all the shits and giggles. So that'll be an op- that'll be an option for you too. So if you don't want to watch it with all the, you know, commentary and the entrance music and stuff like that, I'll probably put it up with some non-copyrighted music behind it and let you guys watch it that way. And it'll still be pretty long without all of the, you know, all the editing and stuff like that. So if you guys want to check out that version, I will be posting that version along with the other version, maybe uh, a few days afterwards, maybe like five, six days, maybe even a week afterward. It may even be sooner after that. Uh, I do have some videos talking about Hell's Gate after the fact. Like, I do have some, you know, breakdown versions. I have some different showcases and stuff like that that I want to do after Hell's Gate, referring to Hell's Gate. So, you definitely want to watch the show. I'll probably post those videos up a week or so after the show. So, uh, yeah, I think that pretty much does it for today's video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Again, coronavirus is uh, affecting us here in the WWE action figure community from getting our new figures, man. Pretty upsetting, but if you want to get anything else that's not on this list over at Ringside Collectibles, guys, go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to pre-order, to order, to do whatever you want. But I'm going to get the hell out of here so I can go finish up Hell's Gate and get it up by next Saturday before I get attacked in my sleep by the fans of MDT. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.